All right, guys. So the last part of our Jamestown lesson for this week is about the government that was in Jamestown. So back in 1619, the governor called a meeting of the General Assembly. So figure this, okay? They came to Jamestown and founded it in 1607. 1619 is 12 years later. These guys have started to get their own community going, right? They're not in England anymore. The king is still in charge, but the king is all the way across the world and they have to handle stuff where they are. They have to handle their own people. So they call a meeting of the General Assembly. The General Assembly is the first elected legislative body in English North America. It's the first group of people that can come together. They're elected from their peers. They're selected, they're picked, they're voted on, and they're going to make the rules and the laws. Okay, so this General Assembly is made up of two citizen representatives or burgesses from each of the divisions. That would be like here at Florence Bowser, um, two students from each room being elected to be our representatives or our burgesses on a General Assembly in the building. So there'd be two from Miss Mossberg's room, there'd be two from Miss Finch's room, two from Miss Belcher's room, two from Miss Prince's room, two from Miss Barcliffe's room two from Miss Brombacher's room, two from Miss Salier's room, two from Miss Jackson's room, two from Miss Pentecost's room, and so on and so forth. Two people from each division, two people from each room here. Then the governor's council, <clears throat> and the governor's council here would be like the team leaders for each of the grade levels. So the, the grade level chairperson, and then the governor who would here be Miss Griffin. So the general assembly would be Miss Griffin, the team leaders from each grade level, and then the two student representatives from each room meeting together to come up with rules or laws for Florence Bowser. Back then in Jamestown, it was the General Assembly, two Burgesses from each division, the governor's council and the governor. They got together to make up rules that fit their environment. Rules that worked in England might not necessarily work for them in Jamestown because the whole community was completely different. You have to understand, this gave the colonists a voice in the government. They did not have that voice in England because the king was in charge. Also, this General Assembly, our current, in 2020, our General Assembly in Virginia dates back to this General Assembly. So this is very important. The other piece you need to know is in 1640, the Burgesses, so those citizen representatives, so like all the students in our school, broke off to become the House of Burgesses by themselves. So we still have the governor and the governor's council, but that would be kind of like here at school being two separate governing bodies. So then Ms. Griffin and the staff are together and then all the students work together in a separate council. So. The Burgesses came off to be the House of Burgesses in 1640. They met separately from the Governor's Council. So it would be like the Student Council Association meeting separately from the staff. And they were one of two lawmaking bodies in the General Assembly. So now instead of one General Assembly lawmaking body, there's now a split and there's two. This is the House of Burgesses and then this works together as one entity. So now there's two separate legislative bodies, which again, plays into part in how our government is run today. So that's an overview of Jamestown and the government in Jamestown. I hope it helps you with the rest of your lessons this week.